I'm looking for some company. Do no place. If Rebecca hadn't have hit him with a bottle, she's lucky she didn't kill him. Lucky he didn't kill me, you mean? I left the meeting because of you. I'm in love with you, Yvonne. from the Libby and Oliver show. Is anyone sitting here? Goody. Because let me tell you, one more second around Dr. Freaky Feature inside him would have torn my eyes out. Or his. Honestly, I don't know what your daughter sees in that man. If I know what I was signing up for, then... Earth to Yvonne? Are you OK? Fine. And I'm Britney Spears. It's nothing. So, Oliver's getting under your skin, is he? Oh, with a team of fleas. But what can I do? I asked the man to move in. So you brought it on yourself. Well... You invited the man into your life, and now you want him out. Well... Gerald, you're just going to have to deal with it. Act polite. Keep your head down. Don't think about him or how he gets to you. Sooner or later, the problem will resolve itself. OK. Or simply remove yourself from the situation now or force him to. That way, no one gets hurt. Oliver's not that bad. I'm sure we can be friends eventually. Well, that's my advice. Take it or leave it. How about we have lunch today? Nice family meal, yeah? Yeah, Dad, why not? The three of us. The good, solid family. What's going on? Nothing. I'm sure Dad's just deciding with Brooklyn Queenstown, upping the charm, upping the cleavage. Hunter! You know it's true. Like Dad's love life has anything to do with you. So what? I can't comment. Dad can try and bust up you and Kieran, but I can't... Whoa, don't drag me and Kieran into this. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What's this me and Kieran business? You two aren't getting back together, are you? I don't know. Sophie? Like, you two have great track records with relationships. Yeah, but once we've been burnt, we stop playing with matches? By all means, go back to being used. Turn a blind eye to all the dodgy crap that Kieran keeps on... Shut up! Was that absolutely necessary? You tell me, Pops. Hey. Hi. I'm um, Daniel. Hi. This is Rihanna. Actually, it's Nadia. Oh, uh, yeah. Another coffee? Yeah, and I'll have one as well. Uh, you order, I'll pay. bro, forgetting your girlfriend's name. She's not my girlfriend. What? Oh, I thought she was, because the other day you said you are hanging out with that chicken. Yeah, but it's not Nadia. She's just a mate of a mate kind of thing, you know? Well, she's cute. Two back, can I have a word? I've got some roster issues. Why do you bring her here? Oh, she wants her coffee. And so... what, you thought he'd invite Daniel to join you? No, but he's clueless, man. How would he ever guess that Nadia's... Let's get something straight, Tupac. You never bring any of the girls here, and you never, ever risk shooting him out of, especially where Daniel's concerned. Because if he suspects anything, anything at all, he will go running to Callum and will then get in Sophie's ear, and I don't need that. Which means you don't need that, you got it. Oh, well, hey, um, is everything okay with Maya? As far as I know? It's just she bailed on me last night. We were supposed to have a drink. Oh, uh, probably childcare issues. Happens all the time. Oh, okay. Morning, miss. Hey, have you seen Ben? Yes, last night. Was he okay? Ben has decided not to attend any future meetings. I think it's a wise choice. Why? Let's just say I might have misjudged him. Meaning? Meaning he's not the person I thought he was. What? Well, what's happened? I had an insight into his character. Unexpectedly so. And? And you're better off without him. For good. What has he done? Yeah, look, you can't make all these grand statements and not give me any details. Yes, I can. Now, if you'll excuse me. What is with her? All I know is I found her drinking alone last night talking about cutting people out of her life. Ben. I guess so. So what, he just walked out of the book club? Yeah, he's looked all weird and intense and slept. And now he's upset Yvonne. Use a coffee? No, thanks. 
Not even a mocker. I'm just here to tell you something. For the record, I still don't like your other business stuff, nor do I accept it. Yeah, I don't expect you to. And maybe I never will. Sophie, I know I've got a long way to go to win back your respect. I'm just grateful that you're here at all. Now, is that all? Or is there something else troubling that beautiful face? It's just my stupid family. Hunter had a go at Dad, and then he started bagging out me and you as well. Classy. I'm just so sick of it. OK, that mocker. Thank you. If you're here to back Hunter, you can save your breath. Actually, I think you and I are on the same page. What? Hunter went too far. We all have a right to our own privacy to make our own decisions. So you're saying you'd support me and my decisions, even if they include Karen? I'm saying I'm going to try. Well, that's something. Mm. And I was hoping you'd still come out to lunch. Why? So I can listen to another one of Hunter's hypocritical monologues? Well, thanks. I will talk to Hunter. Will you come? One condition. I was looking for you. I'm kind of running late. What did you say to Mum? Pardon? Oh, first you staged this big walkout, and then all of a Look, sudden Look, I you... won't be troubling you at book club again, OK? I shouldn't have gone. It was dumb of me. Mum has gone from being your number one cheerleader, like, he's the perfect man, blah, blah, to all secretive and saying that she's glad we're not together anymore. She's always been protective of you. Why the about face? Maybe she's disappointed things didn't work out with us. I know that. What I don't know is what you've done to offend her so much. Might have said something. What? Something dumb, something I should have just left alone. Then why did you? I don't know. Well, Mum doesn't want anything to do with you now, so it's probably best if you just leave me alone too. Have a nice life. I thought we'd been deliberately provocative, yeah? Dad and Hunter need to get used to having you around. If you are going to be part of this family, then you're going to come to family lunches. Ah, uh, what's he doing here? I invited him. Eh? She wouldn't come unless he came too. So you caved? Think of it more as an olive branch, OK? Well, I suppose it's what Brooke does to you all the time. Let's try and be functional just for an hour or so, OK? Good night. Hi. Hi. Glad you could both make it. Look, prawns. I bet they're not as good as the RVs. Yeah, but you're biased. Must be handy having a biased girlfriend. Hunter. I Means you'll put up with stuff most people wouldn't. You are shutting up and I am ordering some wine. Kieran, that is a nice Pinot Gris sound. Lovely, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right there as soon as I've done the stuff at the bank. Can you make it quick? I need you back here. Yeah, sweet. Is that your actual girlfriend? I'm over it, eh? Always nagging at me. Do this, do that. <laughs> so what's her name? It's not Nadia Oriana. I don't know where I got that brain try from. Hey, do you want a shake? Yeah, t So, how was your doctor's appointment? Same old. Arms all good. What flavour shake? Well, what are you eating? Uh, lime? Oh, whack. Give me a strawberry. Poof. Whoa. You could buy a whole milkshake factory with that. It's just the IV, so Kieran asked me to take it to the bank. So he just gave you this huge water cash? It's just bar tips. It's not like it's the actual takings or anything. Tips? Man, I should be a waiter. Yeah, same. Huh. But you'd tell me if it was, not I? Like if you were back dealing. I'm not back dealing. Oh, rolling in the cash, too frightened to remember people's names. Was she a buyer or something? No. Man, just tell me. Just back off. Just so you know, Carol got held up with Mr. Simpson. Oh, he can talk, can't he? <laughs> so I finished your rounds for her. All done. Oh, well, that was really kind of you. Thank you. By the way, you had childcare issues last night. What? Nicole asked if everything was OK. Why you cancelled? I said childcare issues. Oh. I'm sorry if I bummed you out yesterday. Okay, I guess I was just jealous because you were finding someone cool and I was being dumped on by Ben. You've had a hard time? Yeah, well, so have you. That's why you deserve a bit of fun. 
Go and get her. But like you said, she doesn't know just how hard a time I've had. It's worth a crack, I reckon. Mmm. It's a shame Brooke's not here. She likes a bit of classy dining with Dad, Pat. And how about we just enjoy our lunch and eat the Brooke bashing for another time? You've been here, you'd know. Mate, I don't think this is appropriate. Coming from the king of appropriate. Drop it or I'm out of here. It's all right, so if this is how boys show their concern. Hunter's just concerned for you, yes? Yeah? Yes. I bet that's why you're giving your dad such a hard time, too. But listen, there's no need to be concerned for Sophie. I care about her very much. And I give you my word, I will never, ever intentionally hurt her. <sighs> Sorry, it's work. A supplier? Yeah, something like that. Excuse me. Yeah, what is it? That money, I've just counted it. It doesn't match up. Match what? There's less than what Rebecca said there was. So count it again? No, I did. Then call her and get her to double check. She'll just say I'm a... Oh, no, she won't. She will. She's hard up, man. Fine, bring it to me, I'll check it myself. Y are you at the bar? No, I'm at a restaurant in Kings. Okay. Okay, um, outside in half an hour, yeah. Sorry about that. Everything all right? Yeah, fine, thanks. We get there. This bloke's fully out cold with this massive egg on his forehead. You know how he got it? Yeah. Try to crush a full beer can on his head. I mean, real. Bummer. Oh, it was friggin' hilarious. I like his hangover the next morning. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Grunta, that was a real funny story, bro. I got any more? Sorry, I just uh, saw Tanya before. Missy? Unfortunately. I had one of those once. Just let it go, bud. It's all water under the bridge. I wish. That ugly? That ugly. What'd you do? Sleep with someone else? No. Fancy someone else? Must have been a major of Tani Stallone, she. He wasn't. Not someone from her family or nothing. Look, I'm not talking about it, all right? Well, it ain't Maya unless you're tucking it away. It's not Maya. So it's Libby. Oh, you sly dog. Fair enough to you, bro. She's a bit of a looker, all right? I thought you were married, you perv. I can still look. That blonde hair, those hoity-toity shoes, the way she struts them on. You know, it's not easy when you actually fall in love with someone else. Love? Oh, different kettle of fish. So you've got two choices. Which are? Spend the rest of your sad life wondering what it could have been. Or get out there and see what happens. Piece of the action, be my guest. <sighs> ah, well, we're both still in one piece, so not as bad as I thought. Except there's always a supplier after you. What, a car crash? Uh, two guys on the ground. Are they moving? I'm not sure, but it doesn't look good. Okay, Hunter, you come with me. Please call an ambulance. I'm a doctor. Far out. You gotta meet the ambulance, please. Hunter, you take that one. Two. What happened? What are you doing here? Were you with him? Somebody was after him and he jumped from up there. Follow this guy. Hey, what, what, what do you mean after him? Some heavy dude said he had a bone to pick with him. Do you know who he was? No. So, <coughs> get my bag out of the car. Park around the corner. Sure. Possible C spine injuries here. This looks dislocated. Okay, get his shoe off, mate. <coughs> Sorry, mate. I know this is wrong. I can't find a pedal pulse. Okay. The foot's pretty pale. Come on, man. There's something. There's no blood supply. We're going to have to relocate it. I'll be there in a sec. <laughs> okay, buddy. You're all right. You're all right. Here you go. It's all right. I got you. I got you. You're going to have to do the ankle. What? I'll talk you through it. I haven't done one before. Stay calm and I'll get you there. Kira, can you help me, please? <laughs> That's great. Just keep it straight and still. Good. 
Hunter, you ready? Oi, you'll be fine. Kieran, hold his leg strong and firm. Okay. Gently pull on the heel. Sorry, bro. Till he's angry. <laughs> Head injury, just had a seizure, GCS of nine. Also, query C-spine. I'll get a collar. This one's a probable ankle fracture, but uh, Hunter managed to reduce the dislocation. On you. OK, I'll get a splint on that, and then we're out of here. OK, uh, we'll come with you, Hunter. Sure. Sophie, can you drive the car home, please? Sure. Good girl. Is that yours? It's oh, Karen's. Uh, everything's there. Nothing. We'll see you later. Well, where are you off to? Work. Call me when you get home safe, yeah? Hey, we're on tonight. Are we? Yeah, girls' night, down on Q Red. Oh, the music can be a bit naff, but there's some show at 10, some burlesque thing. Oh, I'm so out of the scene. I think I must be post-gay or something. <laughs> well, let's go dust off your cobwebs. I'm actually working tonight. I've got to get things sorted for while I'm away. Away? Where, where are you going? Uh, Wellington, for a nurses' conference for two weeks. Well, just a quick drink then. Another time, eh? Okay. Keeping her at arm's length again. Sticking your nose in again. Sorry. I just don't think the timing's right with Nicole. Or anyone. Pardon? You could have the world's loveliest supermodel knock on your door and you would still find a reason to turn her down, right? I'm just nervous. <laughs> Darling, you've had a, a fresh start. You need to give yourself a second chance. You need to start living again. OK, say I do. At what point do I say, oh, Nicole, by the way, did you know that you're dating a murderer? My, you were found not guilty. I know I was. When I tell Nicole she's going to run a million miles. Look, I still believe, and I'm sure that oh, Nicole... Mum, I'm not having this argument again. You can keep hiding from the truth, but I'm not. I'll just be setting Nicole and I out for broken hearts. It'll be easier, it'll be fairer, if I just don't go there. So that's it. Life without love. A life without risks. Without joy, without intimacy. I just... I don't deserve it. Yes, you do. You can't let the past dictate the future. You are a catch. You just have to believe it. So? Hey, do you want a ride? No, I want to talk to you. What's up? Well, you tell me. Karen and Tupac. What about them? Oh, you saw it. <laughs> them looking all shifty handing over that bag. You sound like Scooby-Doo. Are they dealing? No. You know what they're up to. Just let it drop, eh? So he's got you covering for him now. Man, you've changed. No, I haven't. The old Sophie wouldn't stand for this, but look at you. You know what they're doing is dodgy, and you're still turning a blind eye. Karen's a good person, OK? You're as bad as him if you think that. If you don't like it, then don't come near us. Whatever. I need to talk to you. I think you've said enough already. But something's changed and you need to know about it. What's changed? I've decided it's best if I quit Shorten Street. Find work somewhere else. I see. I feel so bad about the way things have turned out, how I've hurt you, I've hurt Tanya. I'll just get out of your way. I think that's the most sensible thing you've said yet. When did you decide that you... that you had feelings for me? Hard to say. Did you start seeing Tanya just to get closer to me? No, it wasn't like that. But what was it like then? I don't know. More gradual and unexpected. That I was going out with Tanya when I realised the only person I was thinking about, the only person I wanted to be with... Uh, I'm glad that you're going to be working elsewhere. It'll be best for everyone. Honestly, if I could turn back the clock, I would never have hurt Tanya. I don't want it to be like this. But it is. I think you should go now. 
Just tell me one thing. I said I thought you felt the same. Do you? Do you think you ever could? I think this conversation is over. What happened? I was mucking around, and I fell. And wiped out a guy walking underneath. I stink timing you. You fell? I slipped. Funny, it's the um, second little weird accident you've had lately. Bit of a klutzy. I'll go see what the hold-up is. Well, you certainly land in front of the right restaurant. Two doctors on the scene straight away. Lucky me. Seriously. Well, this calls for a bit of a drink, eh? Definitely. Good luck, bro. Cheers. Did you sort things with Rebecca? Yeah, it's all done. But the cash, when I counted... It was a simple counting error on her part. It's all sorted now. Sweet. No, not sweet. Don't make me tell you again, too, but we never mentioned business in public. What was I meant to... I said never. You got it? You got it. Hey, action man. You keep popping up everywhere. What did that guy want? I don't know, it was some um, crazy kid who just... Yeah, right. Did you guys sell him something whack, or are you moving in on his turf? Okay, ready to go. Ready, Doc. Daniel, friendly word of advice. Is this where you get heavy with me for sticking my nose up? Two packs of dishwasher at the IV, nothing more. <laughs> So if you know it's good for you, I suggest to you keep your schoolboy suspicions to yourself and stay out of Tupac's business. Ooh, is that a threat, Mr. Big Bad Wolf? No, well, like I said, it's a friendly word of advice. I am going to find out what's going on. You worked, Sophie, and you so don't deserve her. But I'm going to keep going at it, keep going at you, until I know the truth. Well, that would be your choice. But I think I made myself clear. You're dealing drugs now. Battle lines are being drawn. Your boyfriend is a crook. Keep out of it, Daniel, okay? To protect. I'd like to report a crook. Possession of drugs. To defend. And I'm not going to stand by while you're getting your claws into Chris again, so back off. To advance. I want to sweep you off your feet, but I hope you'll let me try. And to prepare for couple combat. You're not being honest I with try me. and I try with you, sir, but nothing is ever enough. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock weeknights, TV2.